breaking news, my wonderful people. This is a game changer for P2B as Lai Mohammed exposes how INEC deliberately stopped uploading presidential election results on IV. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. With over a month after the presidential and the National Assembly's elections that were conducted on February 25th, INEC has continued to face criticisms for not being able to upload the results right away to its result viewing portal as it promised and written in the Constitution. According to a story by the state-run news agency, by the state-run news agency, I beg your pardon, of Nigeria, the Electoral Commission, INEC, omitted the real-time upload of the presidential election result from polling places on purpose, according to the Information Minister, Lai Mohammed. So, according to Lai Mohammed, INEC decided to halt the transfer due to a possible attack, stating that uh, INEC were suspecting cyber attack. That is why they withheld the uploading of the results in order to preserve the integrity of the data. However, Mr. Lai Mohammed's assertions differs from what INEC informed Nigerians. According to Premium Times, INEC informed Nigerians that technical difficulties, not cyber attack, were to blame for its inability to upload the findings. According to Festus Okei, a spokesman for INEC, when he said that uh, INEC wishes to assure Nigerians that uh, the challenges are not due to uh, you know, any uh, cyber attack or any sub uh, sabotage, but then have stated that uh, the IV remains well secure. Now, one of, of the grounds upon which two opposition candidates are contesting the result of the election, which Bola Tinibu of the ruling party APC won, is based on INEX failure to upload the result of the election in real time, as it repeatedly promised Nigerians. During his official interactions with a few media organizations in Washington, D.C., Mr. Lai Mohammed provided the government's position. Now, according to the minister, when he was having this interaction, he said, see, during the presidential and the National Assembly selections that was conducted on February 25th, INEC have been faced with so many criticisms from Nigerians for not being able to upload the results right from its uh, results viewing portal. Well, according to him, he said the controversy was caused by INEX failure to immediately upload the results of the presidential election, which we are well aware. Now, despite serving as the center of the opposition to the election case, uh, to the election case he claimed that the dispute wasn't unnecessary. However, he claimed that uh, the opposition conclusion was founded on the lack of understanding of the purpose and duties of IV. He asserted that uh, the IV is a platform for uploading polling level election results and was not intended for collating or uh, vitally transmitting election results. Now, according to Mr. Lai Mohammed, the administration of the election results in Nigeria is manual and the court's has decided that INEC has a sole authority to choose the method of the election, its collation, and its transmission. Now, what happened on February 25th was that INEC observed that the results of the presidential elections were not being viewed, saying they were suspecting a cyber attack. That is why they withheld the upload of the results in order to preserve the integrity of the data and immediately it immediately proceeded to float an alternative platform while asking its uh, technicians to investigate what happened to its original portal well he claimed that uh, look at what is going on but according to mr lai mohammed's claims it is quite different from what you know INEC had told us INEC earlier told us that 
All these issues came up as a result of technical glitches, which they assured Nigerians would not occur, you know, in the governorship elections that has just been concluded. And uh, four out of the 18 political parties in Nigeria are, you know, protesting. They are contesting the presidential elections right now. And they are claiming that INEC failed to post the result on its IV portal and committed other irregularities. Yes, at this very point in time, there are so many aggrieved political parties that are threatening and even, in fact, challenging the victory of Bollard Metinibu of the All Progressive Congress, which have been declared the president-elect by INEC. Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, Peter B of the Labour Party, are the two candidates who are contesting the findings. And the presidential election tribunal has since received their applications. Well, the minister went on to say that uh, it is unfortunate that this is what the opposition is relying on to say that the elections was rigged. As far as his concerns, as far as he is concerned, I beg your pardon, those claims from the opposition parties, referring to the AP, to the Labour Party and the PDP, are uh, in fact those claims does not really match up, and those claims does not match up to what really transpired at the election day. Speaking about the delay in getting the election materials into some areas. The minister said it was difficult for the election materials to, to reach everywhere at the same time in a nation that is complex as Nigeria. According to Mr. Mohammed, Lai Mohammed, the police also reported and noted isolated incidents of violence throughout the nation, but they were not significant enough to cast a doubt on the election results, my country people. Now they hear waiting like Mohammed they talk. He be like say this man know they this country because I know they understand waiting this man they talk. He say eh all the old voter suppression and intimidation that was melted on Nigerians on the citizens on the election day were not enough for people to come and say that eh, the elections was rigged. Really, is this what Mr. Lai Mohammed is trying to tell us? that uh, the aggrieved uh, political parties have no right to come and claim that uh, to come and claim that they have been a manipulation of the result wow this is really serious for my country people well guys what are your thoughts concerning this it is a pity that uh, some people have seen the truth and have decided you know not to speak the truth but I know a day will come, the truth will finally reveal itself. Meanwhile, Nigerians are waiting for the courts to give its final decision. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section down below. Thank you. Bye for now.